Hi, I just wanted to come on here and talk about how twin flames mirror each other and the different kinds of mirroring that they do. So when you first meet your twin flame, uh, you go through what's called the bubble of. And during the bubble of phase of this journey, you will be heavily be mirroring each other. And the, the initial type of mirroring that you'll be doing during the bubble of phase is you'll be, be mirroring all of the most wonderful and positive qualities of each other. And this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful when, when you do this. And this is why it's so intense in the very beginning of, of meeting your twin flame is because you're getting a massive hit of this very pure energy. You basically are mirroring each other's higher, highest self to each other. And that's why it feels so amazing when you meet them, because you are in this bubble of, which is, um, you know, all this un unconditional love that you're, you're feeling on an extreme intense level. And you're, you are mirroring each other back your highest self. So you're seeing all your most virtuous and beautiful qualities, you're seeing all the good, you see yourself, you know, oftentimes we have a hard time seeing ourselves in a, in a positive light, you know, self-love, you know, we, we kind of lacking in that self-love, or truly seeing our most wonderful qualities, to seeing ourselves and as our highest self, it's not easy to do that, you know, but when they come into your life, you actually see your highest self in them because you are one and you're, you start to mirror each other, this highest self of, your, of yours. And you're both doing that to each other. And that's why it's so euphoric because you're getting, you're seeing that maybe for the first time. In my case, it was definitely the first time that I actually experienced feeling like my highest self and also seeing it mirrored back to me through my twin. So that is quite beautiful and a wonderful part of the journey because it, it can give you hope in a lot of ways because, you know, this world is, is really a broken world, isn't it? And, you know, there's, it's not often that we see these pure uh, qualities in other people or ourselves. And so it's really a beautiful thing. However, <laughs> the journey, it, it progresses on, doesn't it? And it doesn't stay in that bubble love phase, it does have to move into the next stage. And in the next stage, um, you will start to, what happened for me, and I believe happens for many, is that they will start mirroring all of your negative traits. So they start with all, all of the positive traits that you have and all this beautiful intensity of your highest self. And then it flips. It's like somebody, it, it reverses now. And now you're seeing all of your shadow side. You're seeing all of your dark side in them. So they start mirroring back to you now, all of your shadow side, all of the the things about yourself that are really kind of hard to look at and things that you don't like about yourself. So it's like, you know, you got to see all the beautiful positive side. Now you're going to have to look at the dark side. You're going to have to look at the shadow and they're going to bring up all of your fears. They're every, you know, because you know, in our minds, our minds create our reality and these fearful thoughts that we have, Will, will begin to play out and they will start mirroring back all of your negative traits and all of your fears 
and all of your insecurities. They're going to mirror that to you now. And this is not a fun phase. This is probably one of the more painful phases of the journey. Definitely is, in fact. Uh, because it's, let's face it, who wants to look at the ugliness? And who wants to look at our dark side or our shadows? And all the things that we we know about ourselves. And it's kind of hard to accept or, you know, harder things to love about ourselves. And... You know, obviously it has a purpose. This journey is really an amazing journey because it takes you on a soul's journey. It's a soul's journey is what it is. And they're taking you, you know, on this journey of being able to actually heal those things. However, this doesn't, is not easy. Just looking at it is huge. And so that's, you know, obviously a beginning step, isn't it, is to actually, you know, to look at those, those shadow sides, those more negative uh, qualities about ourselves. And it's a whole nother thing to actually start the process of healing them and changing them. That can take lifetimes to do, or decades or whatever. Everybody's process is going to be different. But it's definitely... It's, it's hard enough to look at it, but it's even harder to actually take the steps needed to heal those things and correct them. So, um, yeah, so that's something to definitely be aware of along this journey and, and to, to understand that they are mirroring these things to you. Um, and, you know, through the process of the journey, you know, it kind of can re- can go back to that bubble love phase and it, it can go back to uh, seeing these higher qualities later on. The more that we heal that negative side, the more that it will return and go back to the bubble love phase and go back to mirroring your higher self because essentially that is the phase it's it, that that is the journey the journey is starting at the bubble love phase and ending at the bubble love phase so you go it's not really a straight line there's all these um you know spirals that you're going on it kind of you have to keep coming back to these things but essentially, that's what will happen, is you will begin there and you will end there. But you're going to have to go through the process of this soul's journey. And our soul's journey is to heal and correct and purify ourselves. It really is a path of purification. You have to burn off all of these negative traits to get to the prize. And the prize is being your highest self. And, um, you know, and we have this twin flame who is the other aspect of our soul, who's literally in a physical body that we can touch and we can interact with and we can love and all of this, which is pure magic, isn't it? It's so magical, really, this journey, that you can actually um, experience that in in another human being. You're experiencing yourself and also the divine that is, um, it's a divine connection. So there's this divine element of you know, you being one with this other person, this merging with this other person who is your other self. It is truly your other self. So anyway, the mirroring, um, I think it's, it's important to understand that and to take a really good, deep look at that. As you ex- don't just brush any of this aside, you must really be prepared to look at these things like looking in a mirror and being prepared to deal with them head on and and actually uh, go through the process. You have to go, you can't just wallow in it. You have to actually go through the process. So 
uh, just to recap, we have the beginning bubble love phase. It's you're, They're mirroring back to you all of your beautiful qualities. They're mirroring your highest self, your purest self, the unconditional love, the um, divine, your divinity. They're mirroring your divinity back to you and you to them. And that's why it feels so good and it feels so pure. It feels very, very pure. And then it is flipped and now you're going to have to go through hell, basically. It's the opposite. One's heaven and then the other is hell. And you have to go through this hellish aspect of yourself. All of the negative, all of the shadow, the lying, the cheating, the manipulating. Um, you're going to have to look at all these things. Um, whatever it is that you have that's dark and things that you know that are there that you don't like about yourself and it's harder to look at those things, they're going to start mirroring that to you. And the reason they do that is for the healing. So you're going to, so once that happens and they doing that, then that's those, that's an indicator of the things that you need to heal in yourself and to work on in yourself. And so um, you need to be prepared to journey on and pick up um, and do the work. You know, it is, there is some work involved and it is a process, but you have to begin to work on those things. You have to start the process. You can't just ignore it and just continue on doing what you've always done. You have to catch yourself. So say you have a habit of lying, for instance, um, then you have to catch yourself every time you tell a lie. You have to be conscious. Okay, it didn't feel good. I told a lie and it really doesn't feel good when I tell a lie. So you have to put yourself in check. You have to constantly be checking yourself when you do these things and then making an effort to do it differently, to be more honest and just think, okay, what is the consequences of being honest? Well, you know, the person might not like the honesty, but you're going to feel better. And the other person, uh, you know, even though they may not like it at the start, they're going to appreciate the honesty. Everybody appreciates honesty. As long as you can do it in a loving way. But the important thing is to hold that virtue of honesty rather than lying. So you have to, yeah, be willing to go through that process of creating these new patterns. So if you're a liar, you need to create the pattern of being honest. And that's going to take time. It's like, first you have to learn how to ride the bike. And then once you learn how to ride the bike, you have to keep doing it. You have to keep creating this new groove of being a more honest person um, or whatever your dark or shadow side is or these um, you know these ne more negative these more negative qualities so um, anyway I hope this is helpful and I hope it gives a little understanding as to um, a little bit of the mirroring that goes on with twin flames and, um, and why we are doing that and, and the importance of it. So there is an important reason why we are mirroring each other. So within this journey, it's important to have as much understanding as to why things are happening as possible. So the more understanding you have, the more you can relax, the more that you can kind of just let the journey play out the way that it's meant to, because that's what this journey is going to do. It's going to play out, um, and there's not a lot that you uh, really have to do apart from, you know, working on yourself, obviously, but these stages are going to play out naturally. You are going to come to these stages of realization more and more it's going to unfold, basically. 
the journey keeps unfolding and yes we need to have teachers and we need to have we need to get more understanding along our journey but you also need to understand that it's going to unfold naturally as well so you know they didn't have any information on this at all when I began my journey because I've been on the journey for quite some time and there was no information and I've we it still progressed on it just progresses it just continues and continues however I think it's wonderful and that's why it's going to become so much more easier for people to come into Union because we have all this knowledge now and we have all this understanding about the journey so that is a wonderful thing but do understand that this journey will unfold naturally and it is guided, it is protected, but also remember that there is opposition against twin flames coming together as well from darker forces. So it's a, it's a mixed bag a little bit. There's a lot of help, there's a lot of guidance, and it is protected, but there is also opposition as well. So you have to just be aware of that. Okay, anyway, I think I'll stop here and um, I will delve deeper into some other aspects and other subjects um, about Twin Flames uh, at another time. Okay, thanks so much for listening.